What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with all the news after week number one in year one of our Washington Redskins franchise, where the Redskins fell to the Cardinals 23-10. to It was a defensive battle most of the game. The Redskins were really struggling to do anything on offense. However, they had a chance to gain some momentum and maybe win the game, and then the Cardinals blocked the field goal. It was all downhill from there. And the Redskins fall to 0-1. Let's go ahead and find out all the stuff that happened around the league in Week 1, as well as adjust the sliders a little bit. Before we do anything, we'll probably actually go ahead and mess with the sliders. And one thing that was definitely noticeable, it is very, very difficult to move the ball on offense through the air. Pretty much any route down the field over 10 yards is covered 95% of the time. The 5%, or well, I would say like 4% of the time where it's not covered, you're getting sacked because there was a blitz on it and you don't even have time to watch the routes develop. And then that 1% chance that the other two don't take place, you can get a completion. But I think we definitely need to lower this a little bit. I don't want to lower it too much and have it be like way too easy. I would much rather this be too difficult than too easy. But there are definitely adjustments that need to be made. The computer run blocking, I think I do need to turn that one up a good bit there. I need to see them running the ball a little bit better. Um... We did get a lot of sacks that game. However, I was sending a ton of blitzes because trying to force them into quick throws was really the only way I could get a stop. Uh, so with that being said, maybe I should actually raise my pass coverage slightly. Uh, I'll keep there. Uh, the pass blocking the same. I doubt I'll send as many blitzes this next game if I don't need to. I will if I have to, but... Uh, Otherwise, we're fine. Run blocking, I might lower just by a little bit here. We ran the ball a little bit too well considering our offensive line is not good at all outside of two players. Uh, so I'll lower it by three to start. If I need to do more, we will. And um, I think this these will be our adjustments after week one on 15-minute quarters. I'm sure there's going to be more stuff that we change as we uh, progress on with this franchise. But for the time being, let's give this a go and see how it plays out. And if we need to change anything, we will. Also, I would like to check out to see if anybody ended up signing Sony Michelle. Now, we did have an injury at running back there. I don't necessarily know that I would like to sign him yet, but it's worth keeping an eye on. Falcons getting DeMarco back. Interesting. Okay. So we're seeing a lot of players moved around here. Um... These are all players released. Boy, they released a ton of players after week one. I wonder why. Interesting to see that. I don't see. Let's just go straight to signed, actually. And maybe it'll pop out here. It doesn't look like it, actually. I don't think he was. Oh, wait. Now. Here we go. Okay. Sony Michelle. Did anybody sign him? I assumed somebody did. That's why. Yep. Okay. Seahawks got him. Interesting. They just drafted a running back in round one. Now they're going to go ahead and sign another one. Might have a nice two-headed monster there. We'll see how that works for him. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and check out all of the stats from around the NFL this week. And I used to do this a little bit differently where I would uh, edit it all together, but I, I prefer doing it live. It makes it easier for me. So we're going to go ahead and do all of these news videos live again. 28-14, to 14, the Eagles over the Falcons here. Super Bowl champs off to a good start. Carson wins 221 yards, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. Matt Ryan, 252, one touchdown, zero interceptions. Darren Sproles, 59 yards on the ground. Jay Ajayi with 52 and a touchdown. Freeman with 43, and then Tevin Coleman, only one carry for him. It went for three yards and a touchdown. Receiving Alshon Jeffrey, seven catches, 108 yards, and a touchdown for him. Zach Ertz, six for 47, and two touchdowns. And then Mohamed Sanu, three for 29, and a touchdown. Julio Jones went six for 62. Also curious about the rookie, Calvin Ridley, only one catch for five yards. On to defense here, 11 tackles for Bradham. Sacks. We got one by Vic Beasley Jr., half of a sack for Bradham and Bennett, the new Eagle there. And then no interceptions in this game. On to the next one, 25-24. The Bills with a victory over the Ravens here. And Flacco barely playing. We did see Lamar Jackson would be getting the start. 247 yards, one touchdown, but two interceptions for him. Josh Allen, the rookie, starting for the Bills. 276, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. 
So an interesting battle of the rookies. Neither, I think, would be the starter in real life, but there they are, squaring off in week one of this franchise. Alex Collins, 63 yards on the ground. McCoy with 42. And then Javorius Allen, 10 carries, 37 yards, and two touchdowns for him. Receiving the ball, 8 for 93 and a touchdown for Crabtree. Charles Clay, 781 and a touchdown. And then Chris Ivory, one catch, 12 yards, and a touchdown for him. Sacks, what do we got? One by Littleton, Suggs, Williams, and Henry. Interceptions, two by Tredavious White. There you go. On to the next game. 28-21, to the Giants over the Jags here. Interesting matchup. Eli Manning, 297, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Blake Bortles, 251, three touchdowns. And one interception. Leonard Ford nets 63 yards for him. Jonathan Stewart, 45 yards and a touchdown. 30 for Yeldon. Only six carries for Saquon Barkley. He did get 24 yards, but it looks like Jonathan Stewart, for the time being, going to be running back number one in New York. Odell Beckham Jr., eight catches, 98 yards. But Austin Safarian Jenkins, seven catches, 76 yards, and three touchdowns for the Jags. The second-year pro, Ingram, five for 61. And then Sterling Shepard, four for 69 and a touchdown. And then Eric Decker, who just signed with the Giants, two catches, 14 yards, and a touchdown for him. Sacks, one by Ngakwe. And then interceptions, Janoris Jenkins making the pick of Blake Bortles there. 24-13, to 13, a division battle early on here. The Saints over the Buccaneers. And then Drew Brees, 228, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Jameis Winston, 241, a touchdown and zero interceptions. Kamara with 50 yards on the ground. Ingram, 37 yards and the sole rushing touchdown. Receiving Cameron Bray, 8 for 91. Ted Ginn Jr., 6 for 69. Michael Thomas, 5 for 77 and a touchdown. Mike Evans, 5 for 41 and a touchdown. And then Josh Hill had the other touchdown, 4 for 28 there. Defensively, sacks. What do we got? One and a half by Alex Okafor. One by Levante David. Half of a sack by Patrick Robinson. And then no interceptions in this game either. 34 to 24. The Patriots over the Texans here. And Tom Brady, 268. Two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Deshaun Watson returning from injury for 281. Three touchdowns, one interception there. Running the ball, James White. 17 carries, 122 yards, and a touchdown. I guess maybe they don't really need Sony Michelle. James White seems to be getting the job done, I would say. Lamar Miller, 16 carries, 50 yards for him. Mike Gillisley, 6 for 14, and a touchdown. Receiving the ball, Gronk, 6 for 57 and a touchdown. Ryan Griffin, 662 and a touchdown. Chris Hogan with a uh, four catches, 62 yards. And then Julian Edelman, 4 for 51, a touchdown. Also, two touchdowns by Bruce Ellington here. Three catches, 62 yards for him. Sacks, I see Hightower with the only sack of the, uh, the day. Okay. And then Gilmore with the interception on Deshaun Watson. 31 to 7. Come on, Niners. What happened, man? The Vikings going to get the victory here. Kirk Cousins only 150 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Garoppolo struggling against that Vikings defense. 180 yards, one touchdown, three interceptions for him. Dalvin Cook, 22 carries, 83 yards, and a touchdown. And then Mac Brown had the other rushing touchdown for the Vikings there. Diggs, 7 for 59 and a touchdown. George Kittle, 5 for 81 and a touchdown. Does not look... Oh, wait. We do have one touchdown by Tyler Conklin, the rookie out of Central Michigan down there. All right. Nice to see a rook make some plays. Maybe not against my Niners, but still cool to see. Linval Joseph, one and a half sacks. Anthony Barr with the sack. Hunter and Sandejo with sacks. And then Corey Toomer, Armstead, and Thomas for the 49ers. Half a sack by Richardson. And then all the interceptions. Andrew Sandejo with two. Jimmy Ward with one. And Trey Waynes with one. On to the next game. 35-17, to the Titans over the Dolphins. Big win by the Titans there. Mariota, 191 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Tannehill, 192. 
one touchdown and one interception. Derrick Henry, only three carries, 81 yards, a long of 66, and a touchdown for the Titans there. Drake with 46 yards. Frank Gore with 40 yards and a touchdown. Then Deion Lewis, 15 carries, 37 yards, and two touchdowns. Delaney Walker, 7 for 57. A.J. Derby, 6 for 55. Rashard Matthews, 5 for 50 and a touchdown. Corey Davis, 5 for 25. Danny Amadola and Taewon Taylor each getting receiving touchdowns as well. Defensively, sacks. What do we got here? Uh, half a sack by McCain, McMillan, Quinn, and Phillips. And then interceptions, one by Bayard. Great season for him last year. On to the next 33-10, to 10, the Bengals over the Colts. And then Brissett, only 14 yards, but obviously he was the backup to Andrew Luck, who has returned 272 yards, one touchdown, did throw two interceptions, might be a little bit rusty there. Andy Dalton, 198 yards, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions for him. Giovanni Bernard, 57 yards and two touchdowns. Joe Mixon, 21 yards and a touchdown. T.Y. Hilton, eight catches, 99 yards and a touchdown there. A.J. Green, seven for 98 and no other receiving touchdowns in this one. Defensively, sacks. We see Robinson with one, Autry with one, and Hunt with one against his former team. Interceptions, Sean Williams and William Jackson. Onwards we go. 27-24, to another division game here. Steelers over the Browns. Bunch of points scored in the fourth quarter there. Baker Mayfield did not get the start, but he came in through one pass. Good for a touchdown. I assume it was a fake of some kind. But the number one overall pick making something happen in his NFL debut there. 338 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions by Roethlisberger. Tyrod Taylor, very good game though. Not looking to give up his position to Mayfield just yet. 242, two touchdowns, zero interceptions by him. Le'Veon Bell, 69 yards on the ground. And the only rushing touchdown. David Njoku, 6 for 69 and two touchdowns. Antonio Brown, 6 catches, 124 yards and a touchdown. Jarvis Landry on his new team getting 71 yards there. And then Josh Gordon and Le'Veon Bell, 110 yards on the ground for Bell. A long of 82 and a touchdown for him. Unreal. Juju Smith-Schuster, not a great game for him there. Defensively. Leading the way with a two and a half sacks is Miles Garrett, last year's number one pick. So the Browns getting a lot of production from their young players here. Dylan Cole and TJ Watt each with a sack and then a half a sack by Coley. Interceptions, none taking place. Onwards we go. Let's see what we got next. 35 to 6, a blowout in another division battle here. The Chiefs over the Chargers. Four touchdowns by Mahomes taken over for Alex Smith. Big game there. Looking like the Chiefs may have made the correct decision to go with the younger quarterback. Phillip Rivers, 214, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions. Kareem Hunt, 92 yards on the ground. Gordon with 60 yards. Hunt did have a touchdown. Williams, 7 for 60. Keenan Allen, 5 for 61. And Green with 65 yards receiving. Conley, two receiving touchdowns. Amaro and Sammy Watkins. Each with a receiving touchdown as well. Sacks, two by Houston. Hitchens, Fallon, and Sorensen each with one half a sack by Bailey and Jones. And no interceptions. Here we go. Getting closer to the end a little bit. 18-15, to 15, the Seahawks over the Broncos in this one. Uh, Russell Wilson, 284, a touchdown and an interception. Case Keenum, 237, a touchdown and an interception. McKissick with 52 yards on the ground. Uh, 12 carries, 22 yards for Booker. Sony Michelle did get a touchdown in his NFL debut. Three carries, 14 yards. Doesn't look like Penny is playing. I don't know. Penny, yeah, he is still on their roster, just not getting any playing time. Lockett, eight carries a night, or eight carries, eight catches for 99 yards. Thomas, five for 70 and a touchdown there. One other receiving touchdown, and it's going to be Brandon Marshall, the new Seahawk. Sacks, what do we got? One and a half by Barrett, one by Marshall, one by Stewart, one by Miller, and one by Smith. Half a sack by Harris, Jones, and Chancellor. Interceptions, one by Roby, one by Earl Thomas. Next game up, it's the Panthers and Cowboys. 23-10, the Panthers with the victory. 
289, two touchdowns, zero interceptions by Cam Newton. 192, one touchdown, zero interceptions by Dak Prescott. No rushing touchdowns. McCaffrey with 61 yards. Anderson with 52. And Elliott, only 44 yards. They only gave him 13 carries. Greg Olson, 7 for 94. Beasley, 7 for 90. And then the receiving touchdowns, Funchess, Williams, and C.J. Anderson. Not bad in his uh, Panther debut there. Sacks. Two and a half by Julius Peppers. Still getting it done. Lawrence with one and a half. Poe, Irving, and Ayers Jr. each with the sack. Then Awuzie, Keekly, Crawford, and Gregory with a half a sack. Interceptions, none taking place in that game. After that, we got the Redskins and Cardinals, which was our game. I don't know why I clicked it. Feels bad, man. It's habit, dude. It's just habit at this point. All right, uh, Packers and Bears, another division battle. 34-31, to 31, the Packers with the victory. And it'll be interesting to see if Des Bryant did anything here. Uh, 330 yards, four touchdowns, one interception by Trubisky, 228, two touchdowns, zero interceptions by Rodgers. Montgomery, 73 yards and a touchdown. Jamal Williams, 52 yards and a touchdown. Howard, 32 yards. Uh, not a lot of action for Tariq Cohen there. Receiving Taylor Gabriel, nine catches, 145 yards, and three touchdowns. What a pickup for the Bears. Instant chemistry with Trubisky, it looks like. Adams with 91 yards on seven catches. Cobb, five for 58. Des Bryant, five for 43 in his Packer debut. Trey Burton, four for 32 and a touchdown. Jimmy Graham, three for 18 and a touchdown there. Defensively, Sacks. What do we got? One and a half by Ryan, one by Clark, one by Matthews, half a sack by Perry, and then Josh Jones with the lone interception in that one. 28 to 21, the Jets over the Lions here. Okay. 1 and 0 for Stafford, 229 yards. Bridgewater, 282, three touchdowns, one interception, running the ball. Two rushing touchdowns by Blunt there. Receiving six for 78 and two touchdowns by Quincy Anunwa. And then we have a receiving touchdown by Bilal Powell and Golden Tate there. Defensively, what do we got going on? Two and a half sacks by Leonard Williams, one and a half by Jenkins, and a sack by Robinson Claiborne, Kennard, and Bass. Half a sack by Williams and Davis. Interceptions, one by Glover Quinn. And then last but not least... The Rams and the Raiders, 26-22. to The Rams with a victory. Looks like they might have come from behind, or maybe they just scored uh, late. I don't know. I don't know how it played out, but Derek Carr, 275, two touchdowns, one interception. Jared Goff, 259, one touchdown, one interception. Running the ball, Todd Gurley with 73 yards on the ground. Lynch with 35. Lynch and Kelly, each with rushing touchdowns, receiving seven for 100 yards for Jordy Nelson and a touchdown. Cook, seven for 80. The other receiving touchdowns going to Cooper Cup and Roberts. Defensively, sacks. What do we have here? Two by Whitehead, one by Barwin, Irvin, and Ibukam. Not sure if I said that one. And uh, Barron, half a sack by Donald and Sue. And then interceptions, Barron and Johnson. All right, we will take a brief look at the weekly players of the week. This video much longer than I anticipated it being. I apologize. Uh, Taylor Gabriel, of course, nine catches, 145, three touchdowns. Sandejo, six tackles, a sack, and two interceptions. Derek Johnson with the Raiders, weird to see, 14 tackles and an interception. And then the second-year pro, Patrick Mahomes, he only went 12 of 25, but 270 yards and four touchdowns. That should do it for this one, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in week two as the Redskins take on the Indianapolis Colts. Later.